my friend Chris Brockman brought to my attention your your fishing expertise and yeah. uh, Jeff, I mean, and this on, this behemoth that that you you know brought into your boat. Um, Tell us about this. Ninety-one pounds is that is that right? Yeah, I, I'm not so much the expert. I do. I'm the guy that people call because I'll I'll drink a bunch of beers and have a good time, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Essential. I'll certainly cheer everybody on and celebrate when we catch the fish. You're right. But uh, but yeah, we caught a ninety-one pound black grouper, which for fishing people, uh, they'll understand that a black grouper is a a pretty coveted fish that's awesome to eat and. It's uh, it that's a really big the the, the Key West Marina where we ha- we brought it in to have the it weighed, uh, it broke their record by about forty one pounds. No way. So yeah, wow. we're talking about we're talking about a, a monster. We've been we've so been, this uh, is this fish. is this is Patrick Mahomes. This is an anomaly like yeah. that, out of nowhere. Just uh, the Phoenix rises. This is the big boy. This, yep. this is the guy we were we were chasing. We were looking for one. And uh, after, like, we do this trip every year for, like, 20 years with, with my college buddies. We go to the Dry Tortugas, which is, like, 70 miles west of Key West. And we, like, sleep on the hull of the boat for three nights. And, like, once in a while, we'll try to go get a, a black grouper in, like, deeper water. Uh, this year we went, and uh, we thought it was either a shark or an amberjack. But the guy we were fishing with was like, you always got to fight, like, fight it like it matters. And all of a sudden, that black grouper pops up, and we just went. We were swimming wow. nuts. It was awesome. Now I'm a fisherman too, right? I, I'm I'm a fly fisherman. I grew up in Montana, so I'm a riververse run through it. I'm uh, yeah. you know, you know, I give me a, my eight to twelve inch, uh, Love that. you know, cutthroat, and I'm I'm a happy camper. If I'd have reeled in a ninety one pound black grouper, right? <laughs> I might I might have put the retirement uh, um, speech <laughs> out there. It's all it's all relative too, though. You know, like you can get. I fought a amberjack for like like the monster amberjack for an hour, and you get it up, and it's a reef donkey, and you're like, oh crap i just wasted all my energy for that <laughs> so, <laughs> it's amazing how different species get you more excited than others it's pretty wild yeah well it's it's cool to follow uh, uh miss seeing you around the office out there uh, in connecticut uh yeah, man. excited for football to be back really glad you could spend some time with us today keeping us uh abreast of everything that's going on jeff darlington everybody thanks, espn jeff. nfl reporter thanks again for joining us bud all right later all right Whew. I want to. I want to go on that trip. That sounds. I don't know if amazing. I can sleep on the hull for three nights, bobbing mm-hmm. up and down. I think I. I have a pretty solid stomach, but I feel like. Um, I feel like I would struggle with that. You've seen a, the perfect storm, right? I almost made a perfect storm reference. They said they went seventy miles. That's what I mean. Off like, the, yeah. That is so far. The perfect so far. storm. They were like four hundred miles off the coast, but like even seventy miles. Just think about how far that is. That's like seventy miles. Seventy miles. <laughs> right. Far. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in the middle of nowhere. Right. You're on a boat. If you run out of food, if you run out of beer. <laughs> well, if you run out of beer. You can't just like Postmates and, and somebody <laughs> heli- helicopters it in. Okay? Well, Bezos might be able to figure something out. You are where you are. But the fact that they got that fish. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That is a I caught fish. a, I caught, I think I, the biggest one I've caught, I got like a 63-pound king salmon one time up off the Alaskan yeah. coast. Yeah, I got a 40-pounder when I was a kid. Um. But what's cool about it is I use, uh, we use like a, a a fly rod with it. So it made it even better. Like, I mean, it was like un- unbelievable to fight. Did it take fight. you like an hour to reel yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. The thing that people don't understand if you don't go fishing, a fish that big literally takes hours to reel in. Yeah. Because they're just constantly fighting you. It's obviously, it's so big. It's so heavy. It's in the water. They're fighting be, literally for their it, life. It doesn't want to be caught. So it does take hours to reel in something like that. Now, where I was fishing, uh, I guess not off the coast of Alaska. I think it was more off the coast of Canada. Where I was fishing, there was a pod of, of killer whales that we were just off. We weren't like 70 miles out. We were literally, you know, half a mile off the, right. off the, the, the coast. And there's this pod of, of great white, uh, or of killer, killer whales. And what I realized was is, and I found this out after I got my first fish on, is that it was a mom and a dad with a little, with a little baby. They were feeding. They were teaching them how to get a free fish which is when after i caught one (laughs) and i was reeling it in they would send the baby after my fish so when i pulled it up when it would just pop up it would just be the head of the fish because the killer whale had had done it and it's going right at the boat and you see these giant killer whales in the company and we're we're not in a huge boat it's a, a little boat off the coast and they're so smart they get right to the boat they flip and go under our boat upside down, so their you know their, their dorsal fin doesn't yeah, hit it or anything, yeah. and they're teaching their uh, their little baby how to how to eat. How cool is that? Dude, 
killer whales are so awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, fishing can be incredibly fun. My my father um, took me fishing a ton when I was young. My grandfather is a game warden. He likes to tell everybody that I was born on the first day of fishing season. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a fun story. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.